from uh, I'm back from vacation. It's uh, good to be uh, back here and uh, talking about the crazy world of um, the story that just it's not going to die. and It probably doesn't need to because it died a long time ago. And now we're finally getting some answers as to what the hell was going on back in the late 90s when uh, Tupac Shakur was uh, assassinated the possible involvement of Diddy, the possible involvement of uh, Lopez, Jennifer Lopez, knowing some stuff, being involved in some of Diddy shit. It's a big cornucopia of shit. That's really what it yeah, is. Yeah, that sums it up. Yeah. The uh, entertainment world uh, celebrated when Ben Affleck and J-Lo reunited and got married a few years ago, but it seems like their love story could be ending once again. According to Suge Knight. Now, keep in mind, this is Suge Knight. <laughs> So it's it's Suge Knight, uh, who has a podcast, uh, by the way. Yeah, it's uh, really it, he does. He has a podcast from jail. Collect calls with Suge Knight. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to listen because uh, he's got a lot of interesting stories. Uh, their uh, rumored impending divorce is this is according to Suge, a result of the FBI providing Ben Affleck with footage of Lopez engaging in illicit activities recovered from raids on Sean Diddy Combs' home a few months ago. Now, I, I don't know how how legit this is, because you're, you're literally talking about footage that would be 24 years old, if they even have it, with Diddy. But, you know, who knows? You can archive shit. Knight uh, detailed his theory on the most recent episode of Collect Calls with Suge Knight podcast. They go raid Puffy's house and they get all these videos of J-Lo doing this and J-Lo doing that, Knight said, recalling her involvement in the 1999 nightclub shooting where Shine took the fall for Diddy. And they know the fact that J-Lo lied and said the gun was Shine's or whatever and sent a man to prison, destroyed his life, and she knew it was Puffy's. The former Death Row Records CEO claims the FBI gave the footage to Affleck and a Curtis as a courtesy so he could be aware of the situation before the videos potentially went public, especially given the impact of the footage showing the bad boy founder assaulting Cassie. It's a white man who got respect in the white world, Knight said. I'm quite sure they said, we want to show you some things about your wife. Knight believes that upon seeing the footage, Affleck could not look at Lopez the same way. I'm quite sure they are headed for divorce because that's a man who had a good life, he said. Great parents don't spend a lot of money, ain't tripping on pa on paparazzi. He's living his life. He's got his own team. She done brought all that extra shit, and now that motherfucker wants out. Quoting Shook do you, Knight. Do you believe for a second, though, that somebody in the FBI said, you need to see this about your wife? That feels <sighs> weird to me. Doesn't it? Yes and no. Okay. People have connections and such. Now, is, would it be like an official thing where it's like, hey, we need you to come in here and look at this? Um, and uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be talking to some FBI agents later today. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to throw that out there to them. Please uh, do, because I would love the answer to that, because to me, it just. You know, we were we were trashing some of the officers uh, in, in Karen Reed's situation that mm -hmm. they were sharing information. To me, this feels like what did Ben Affleck have to do with any of this other he, than being married to J-Lo? I don't know that you would inform. So I don't know. I, I honestly I just don't know the answer to that question, honestly, to give an opinion that yeah. that is any sort of weight to it. But I'm going to be talking to uh, Robin Drake and uh, Jennifer Coffin Daffer uh, this afternoon. Uh, and uh, we'll answer that question, and uh, it will be on uh, the program next week because uh, one of the things we're talking about is the uh, the claims of uh, Tupac being in, or, or uh, Diddy being involved with Tupac and the hit and the money and all of that that's uh, been coming out. Uh, the claims uh, gain depth when considering Diddy and Lopez's romantic history dated in 99 and 01. Rolling Stone recently reported that he attempted to get her back after their breakup over the last several months, Diddy has been accused of sexual assault and other crimes that allegedly took place around that time. In March, Homeland Security raided Diddy's Los Angeles and Miami homes. Just under two months later, footage of him assaulting Cassie in 2016 we shared online. Knight gave Diddy an ominous warning earlier this year, though it was unclear whether he was referring to this footage or something else, saying, quote, 
your life's in danger because you know the secrets. Who's involved in that little secret room you guys are participating in, Knight said. Quote, so, you know, they're going to get you if they can. Uh, Vibe magazine has contacted a representative for Affleck regarding Knight's claims. Uh, no response yet. Meanwhile, an OK Magazine report stated that Ben Affleck wasn't happy with the way things turned out between him and Jennifer Lopez. Quote, Jennifer's, uh, Jennifer was Ben's dream woman. It was uh, drama all the time. He's feeling down about it and is upset and depressed that they didn't work out, even though he knew ending it is the right thing to do. Uh, they got married in 2022. So there you go. Never thought we'd be talking about Jennifer Lopez on Murder in the Morning. You uh, know, and, uh, this is like a conversation we had twenty five years ago in radio. Yes. Uh, yeah. But it wasn't about this. It was about J Lo and Ben Affleck. Wasn't there like a what was the moniker back that it was like? J Lo. But well, um, Benifer. Benifer. Benifer was the yeah, because that's what we just said because they were together. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. What comes around goes around, I guess. It's going to be interesting. I uh, I am curious to know though if um, if they would pull a spouse aside if there is something very incriminating or horrible um, out there. I'm not saying there is. I have no idea. Um, and this is all just the speculation of Suge Knight, which you know take that as a grain of salt. He's you know he's going to try and get attention some way, shape, or form. But I don't know. Uh, there's been things he said that have turned out to be pretty accurate and true. But you know, time. Uh, Time will tell. What's your thought? I mean, do, do you think um, do you think uh, Diddy had involvement in Tupac's murder? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I I don't think I can hesitate and go. You know, I don't know. No, I do because I now too. that we're seeing what he's capable of, and there's so much we don't know. Mm -hmm. I bet that's that just seems like it would be something up his alley. I'm going to take it a stretch further. I think he might be involved in Biggie's murder too. Oh yeah, because I know. Not? Well, Biggie was talking about leaving the label. Yep, he kind of wanted to go on his own, and um, yeah, if you don't want your you know main star to run away, um, and you want to then look like you know the fucking angel of oh he's I, I'm be missing you and you know sing the Sting song. Yep. And get a lot of support and empathy and, and bolster your career on his death, which is really what he did. I yeah. could see that being a very narcissistic move. I don't know. Obviously, there's nothing that uh, there's. Well, I mean, put pieces together and there's things that look weird. Uh, but uh, obviously, he's never been charged with anything. That's just my conjecture. But I don't know. I would not be surprised. Want to listen ad free? Want advanced access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.